it's flashback Friday. I feel like that was new. Anyway, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Fangoria issue 39, November 1984. Pretty good. <laughs> um, and today we're going to be reviewing Dreamscape, the Dreamscape article, Gremlins, and the article on Gremlins. Fun. So, uh, we are also going to be doing as a surprise, we are going to be reviewing um, He Knows, which was a movie I was in. <laughs> I banned it. And um, we are going to add, be adding my old Gremlins review. And I'm going to be opening my mystery bag with Fen Fango, not Fenris. I have a cat named Fenris, and I'm thinking, thinking that Fango here's name is Fenris. What? Anyway, so let's get straight in in today's, into today's video. So now we're going to be reviewing the Dreamscape article. This article is written by David Everett. E and yeah, so this article is about the movie Dreamscape. If you, if you guys probably knew that. I mean, wouldn't you know it? <clears throat> this article is about Dreamscape, but is it about Dreamscape, <laughs> you know? This article is about Dreamscape. Um, it's written by David Everett. I hope I'm pronouncing that light, right. And you know how I'm always talking about the funny little, the images about some funny point in the movie. Please stay here, Fenris. Fango, not Fenris. Um, funny little image, or images, and then it's about something important in the movie. And there's just like, huh, random thing that kind of looks like it instead of the actual plot of what's going on. Well, these ones are telling the actual, what actually is going on. I was really surprised. Because, you know, I'm so used to talking about how funny it is and, you know, it gives me the laughs. But this time it's actually explaining what's going on. What? Um, so I've actually never heard of that before from this, from this magazine because, you know, they're always doing that. But I just thought that was something pretty interesting, you know. So the article on Dreamscape does something that the old articles do which is basically explaining the entire plot of the film, which I get, but also like, but I thought that's what the other ones did, you know, <laughs> but yeah. So this article is really interesting. It tells about how the, it tells about the, it's the, there's this man, this guy thing in the movie, this being in the movie where it's like state snake man, it's so creepy, and it was talking a little bit about how it's puppeteered and claymationed or whatever, you know what I mean? But I just thought that was so interesting, you know? Fango, what's your take? So, um, yeah, I honestly thought that was really interesting about the images. I'm still kind of shook up about that because it's like they normally are like uh, doing that thing where they're like putting the funny thing in instead of the plot. <laughs> I get what you mean. Oh. I get, I get you, Fango. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so now we're going to be reviewing the movie Dreamscape. So this movie is called a Dreamscape, as you've probably known, unless you're just now tuning in on the premiere, then you might not know. But uh, this movie we're reviewing is called Dreamscape. Well, that was uh, chaotic. And it, I need the paper so I can and it was written by um, David Lagery and directed by Joseph Rubin. So this movie is about this guy who has telekinesis stuff, and the military guys and the and the government stuff peoples want him to uh, uh, cure people's nightmares, right? Bum bum bum. I'm not gonna tell you what they do secretly want because that's a spoiler. But uh, so there's this one, and then there's another guy who's like, oh, I'm better than you. I can do it better than you. Blah 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 blah. He kind of reminded me from from with um, from Ryan from The Office. That's I don't know why, but like I feel like that's kind of how Ryan from The Office acts, you know. But uh. <laughs> So he's like, I'm better than you, rah, 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 I'm, I'm evil and stuff. And so he ends up killing someone in his sleep. Oh, wait, that's a spoiler. Bum, bum, bum. So, uh, spoiler alert, I guess. So, 
um, I'm, his name, I don't know the guy's, what, mommy, what, what is that evil guy's name? Evil, okay. So evil guy, that's what I'm going to call him, is, um, is actually supposed to be killing people because that's what they're doing. Not trying to cure nightmares, to kill people. Bum, bum, bum! That was unnecessarily long. <laughs> Got any quote. Um, so it's pretty crazy because they're like, okay, we can have a rest. It's a movie with good guys. What could go wrong? Bum, bum, bum! And literally, evil guy. Mil the Whatever the people are that are running it evil because they want to kill people in the sleep and they try kills, killing president roosevelt but roosevelt kills him with a with a main character guy that i just now forgot the name of <laughs> so yeah that was dreamscape and i would rate that i almost forgot the rating <laughs> um i would rate that 7.2 out of 10 what would you rate it fango um i would rate it uh 6.9 out of 10 and uh yeah well we are now going to be reviewing a secret movie that i'm in but it's not really secret because it's out now this movie is called he knows and he does know <laughs> so he knows is a movie about about a killer elf named Sammy the Elf. Sammy the Elf is a killer elf who goes around um, killing people on. Do you want me to put the back one? Killing people on the naughty list. Um. So so I guess that kind of gives the point of the title. He knows because he kn he knows if you if you've been good or bad. Dun dun dun, and uh. So, I think it's really neat that um, it how the story comes together because it's such a big plot twist. Like, oh my goodness, I don't want to tell you because you guys because this movie like just now came out. It was, like just came out. So I am in the beginning scene. So I was in the beginning scene where I play young Christina, which Christina is the main character. So I play the main character as younger. If you, yeah, <laughs> and. So I thought it was really neat because this was actually one of my first movies. And it's just like me now um, watching me act then. It's just like, ugh, I have so many notes to myself. <laughs> it was so funny because we did film this like two years ago in October. Man, time flies. But yeah. So I would rate this movie 9.9 .9 out of 10. That's, a, that's probably the highest rating I've ever rated a movie. But, like, I, it's really good. It's really good plot twist. All sorts of amazing stuff. And, uh, yeah, what would you rate it, Fango? Well, I would rate it 9.8 out of 10. So another one Another one point um, uh, um, before me. Isn't that silly? Yeah, but I just like copying your readings. <laughs> Fango, you just told the whole audience that you like copying my ratings? Yep. I'll admit it. <laughs> oh, my cat has something to say. Meow, meow. <laughs> she says that the that she really enjoyed watching the movie with us, and some and she did sneak some of my popcorn. She's in trouble. No more popcorn for her for a few weeks. How dare she sneak my popcorn, even though I was trying to give her some. <laughs> So anyway, now we are going to be reviewing the article so on this Gremlins. Is the article on Gremlins. What was what was rawr? I don't know, but uh, so this is written by R. H. Martin, and you know what's funny? Okay, so again with the thing about the images not be not being the clever and funny quotes that are just like quotes, huh? So the things that just are just funny, you know, that kind of look like it, but it's not really. So it's, again, saying actually what's going on. You know what's funny? They did a lot of gremlin skits 
that were just for their own eyes. It was so funny because, like, one of them, uh, the the leader of the gremlins, um, Stripe, um, um, kisses kisses the uh, the creator of it, which I thought was hilarious that, that they inputted that, <laughs> you know. But I don't know. I really think you'll get a good laugh if you read this article. It is in the Fangoria Archives, issue 39. The Gremlins article, rawr, the Gremlins, they are rawry and scary. <laughs> but, like, uh, so, we, yeah. Fango, your take? Okay, so, uh, you know what I thought was hilarious? What, Fango? Um, so, uh, so, <laughs> so it's funny because Stripe was, Stripe, um, they puppeteered Stripe, so he was headlining, um, one of the, one of the main characters, or creator, or director, or something, I don't remember. <laughs> Bang! What? You're so cute. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, and now we're going to be review, now we're going to be, uh, looking at my old Gremlins review. Hey, hey y'all! Today I'm going to be doing a Gremlins movie review. I love this movie. It was amazing. The only part I didn't really like about it is that it didn't show any gore. But amazing movie. Fun fact, the, the Gremlins was one of the first movies to, to get the PG-13 rating because it was too, too, too violent for the PG and not enough violence for R. Let's begin. This movie is about Malibu's, Mogwai's, I call Malibu's. Another fun fact is that Magua means the devil in Cantonese. So if you hear me say Malibu, I mean Magua. Let's begin. So the Malibu's, well, the Malibu, gets sold to this guy for like two hundred dollars or something which you may think you may you may be like oh that's cheap but back then when it was created that was like two thousand dollars so the guy so the guy buys a malibu for his son who's a bank person and so he gets the Malibu. He has his friend, his neighbor, comes over, accidentally spills a lot of water on cute little Gizmo, which is the Malibu's name, and then there's five more Malibus. So next, next thing you know, the Malibus are like mischievous and poor little gizmo is so sweet so the little malibus chew the cord on the clock at 11 30 exact he looks at the clock oh and i forgot to tell you the three rules sunlight will kill them never spill water on them it multiplies never feed them after midnight they turn into gremlins so they they get fed gizmo of course is like no 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 and they get fed and then they just turn into he goes to sleep they little they turn into little slimy eggs his neighbor comes over again and they're like talking about it his mom comes up sees the eggs for a little like another day passes dun 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 they are gremlins. They cause a lot of trouble and they have sharp teeth or snappy teeth. And they're kind of good. And they try to kill everyone. They kill a lot of people. And after this, I it's gonna have cartoon cartoon Johnny. She she's gonna be singing a song similar to a story in the Gremlins told told by Billy's girlfriend, and it's called, There's Something Stuck Up in the Chimney. I don't wanna, I, I gave a lot of detail, 
and at this there's a bit of plot twists and stuff there's some twists and turns so that was basically like this like a descriptive version of what happens in the beginning how they turn into gremlins and stuff okay so um uh so i'm actually filming this after i did the end because i ended up forgetting to do the gremlins review it's just pretty hilarious because you know i just did the article and then i moved on to other the the other stuff portion of my videos and then it's just like <laughs> but uh yeah so this movie is called gremlins as you probably know if you unless you're tuning in right now then you probably don't know but uh yeah so this movie's about a little cute milwaukee or whatever they're called milwaukee mogwai okay mogwai i was saying milwaukee <laughs> but yeah so a cute little mogwai and he multiplies with water and he turns into five little guys. And then those five guys get multiplied with water. Okay, I need to stop talking in the little baby mogwai voice. <laughs> but then they're, but another thing is bright light, bright light. They don't like bright lights. They also get killed by the sunlight. That's important to know. But uh, yeah, so uh, if they eat food after midnight, they turn into gremlins. Rawr. So Stripe is the leader of the gremlin pack as you probably know because i just said that in the article but uh, yeah so um <laughs> but so since you know that stripe is leader what you don't know is that stripe is the most evil it's like it takes so long to kill him you know and he's like er her her i'm gonna multiply with water my race will destroy it's uh crazy this movie is only like two hours long, but it's so action packed. Like there's action, it's like, oh no, are they, are they, oh, wait, no, are they gonna, oh. It's just amazing. So I would rate this movie 7.2 out of 10. What would you rate it, Fango? 7.6 out of 10. Okay, so instead of, of you going one below and copying my rating, you're going six above. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for that, guys. And, uh, yeah, another thing is, on Movie Monday, I will be reviewing They Them. And so, uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Okay, so now we're going to be talking about all oh, monsters attack! No, no, I'm not reviewing the movie. I'm talking about the convention. Not the movie, the convention. And what I mean about the convention, the convention in Indianapolis, All Monsters Attack, I went to it last weekend, and I dressed as Manila. Also, if you guys don't know who Manila is and you've seen All Monsters Attack, have you seen All Monsters Attack? I thought you've seen All Monsters Attack. Manila is Son of Godzilla. If you still don't know who Son of Godzilla is, then look it up, okay? He's really cute. Um, I will have photos here and stuff. So it's really cute and stuff. And I just loved the cosplay. It was so fun, though it was really hot. Though I did end up winning first place on the adults portion. Yes, I know there was a kids portion, but I did not join that number one because there there was only one other kid who entered, and I thought I was and I I was probably gonna win anyway because he had a store bought costume and I made my own smoke machine and all sorts of stuff. Fun fact about the cosplay: when we were in the hotel room, we started freaking out. One there was only one thing that worked. It was the mouth light. The LED didn't light. For some reason, the smoke machine wasn't working. Then we accidentally put, so we had to have a pump and then the smoke. So I had to turn the pump on and the smoke on. I accidentally, when I, I, already, act, I already had the pump on. So uh, it was just, you know, making some noise. And I turned it off. And I was like, oh my gosh, why isn't the smoke working? My dad saw and found out. So he turned it. So it was ending up to be a happy ending overall. But though the LEDs did not work because they were cheap and they just didn't work because some things just don't work and they're just don't work, you know. But uh, yeah. So now we're going to be re doing something that we've been waiting for this entire time. You're probably wondering why am I holding it like this, and why don't I open it like this? Well, 
looks like my mom opened it so she could see what's inside because she was too too excited. I had to wait all this time. Anyway, so let's pull out something random, which is it's a it's a poster for Halloween Kills. Yo, that's awesome. Again, thank you to Fangoria for this awesome mystery box or bag, whatever, you know what I mean. So the next thing we are going to pull out. Oh wait, I forgot about something I bought at All Monsters Attack. I know I'm gonna wait, make you wait, but it's worth it. I bought, I found this at All Monsters Attack. Someone was selling vintage Fangoria magazines. Of course, you know I had to give them a coupon for 20% off, which is on screen right now. You can you can um, go to shop.fangoria.com slash Johnny Shandle or use code Johnny Shandle at checkout. That'll give you 20% off your entire order on merch especially mystery bags, single issues, or entire subscriptions. Now, uh, for you guys, I would recommend you guys get the entire subscriptions because, number one, as you probably know, you get um, unique covers that you don't get from the single issues, and the single issues sell out quickly and then sell out and then um, sell for a lot of money on eBay or Etsy. You know what I mean? Okay, so next random pull from the bag. I get something. Fangoria. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, it's like. Oh my goodness, it's a short Fangoria magazine? I didn't know they had like short versions or something. It's something. <laughs> it's so cool looking and it has on both sides. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that's so neat. So, uh, that, and let's pull out something random from the bottom of the bag. Let's. It's a sticker. It's a it's a skull cream, a skull cream cone. <laughs> That's so awesome. I will definitely put this somewhere that I put stickers. <laughs> I don't know because I have like so many places to put stickers. I put them on my laptop, my iPad, my phone, my walls, uh, my sticker book, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so let's pull out a little bigger. And it's like another mini. It's like a mini Fangoria mini mag it's a mini mini sangoria magazine kind of but this one is so cool look at all this stuff you know i definitely got to be reviewing um movies in these sangoria magazines because you know that'd just be awesome another thing is oh my goodness it's another thing it's a fangoria coupon where you can save 25 percent off that's pretty awesome you know but you know it's even more awesome Saving 20%. Wait, this is 25. Same thing. But also, what makes it even better awesome is because it's me. <laughs> anyway, let's keep on going. Oh! Th I don't think I've gotten this one before. Like, I mean, I haven't gotten that one before, but, like, usually I ha I'd, like, I thought I had, like, all the finger in name <laughs> stickers, but this is even awesomer. Oop. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Fingo. I just realized it's not a watch more horror Fangoria sticker. It's a read more horror on the cover because it's, <laughs> I get it. Uh oh, oh wow. Uh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's find another sticker. I don't have this one either. Wow, this is so cool. First in Fright since 1979. That is 100% true. Fangoria is the best magazine of the universe. <laughs> yoink. 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 Oh. Sticker fell on the ground. But what I did not know is that they were going to give me the Read More Horror sticker that I was just now talking about. Awesome, Fangoria. Awesome. Oh, there's a sticker that just wants... That has my attention. Volume 2, Issue 2. Sticker! I did not know that they made Fangoria Magazine stickers. Now that's awesome. Man, it was. this is from 2018? Well, yeah. Man, I was only six! I just, I feel like, I feel like, uh, man, I just feel, I feel like I'm getting so old now. I'm 11. 
a bunch of magazines. This is cool. We got, um, let's try and see something, find something that I have. Ayo, it's, it's a, the one that has black phone and the one that has scream. I reviewed that one for flashback Friday, but it was a very little flashback. And you know what? I should probably buy this magazine right here because I've been actually wanting to watch the movie Us. I still have not seen it. Seems like a good one, but uh, yeah. Okay. This looks awesome. So let's see what issue it is. It is issue um, 332, but... uh. It is from, it is from May. But what year? Where is the year? It won't tell me what year it is. I searched everywhere. No year. Is there anything else before I pull out the last? Oh, there's, they're giving me three. They're giving me so many magazines. Another magazine. This one is issue 339. Oh my goodness, that looks creepy. It's like. He's, his head is attached to his hands and he's playing piano, but he's stuck to the piano. That is, that is, that is going to haunt me every time I play piano now. Thanks, Fangoria. <laughs> but actually, yes, thank you, Fangoria. Thank you for this awesome thing. And last but not least, Angel's Blade. Oh, wait, that's the back of this. I'm like, where's the Fangoria logo? Oh my goodness, this looks creepy. Oh my goodness, it's from two, 2006, June 2006, and issue number 254. <laughs> I wasn't even alive then. Well, I mean, I wasn't alive for most of the issues I review because, you know, I do a lot of Flashback Fridays. But, I mean, you know what I mean. It's like, that's like more of a recent issue. And, okay, is there any more things in here I do not want to miss? And just look at this awesome sticker look at this awesome banner i mean what's not to love about fangoria and the good news is you can get this all from 20 percent off shop at fangoria.com slash johnny shandor or use jo code johnny shandor at checkout that's on screen now and uh me and fango will see you in the next video bye, bye. We have to put this on the bloopers. Okay. Okay. Anyway, you ready? Is that a Beetlejuice song? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Oh wait, we're already. I was gonna get a drink of water. Walk, 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 Sonora. Look at all the time.